Hey, what's going on, people? It's your boy, man, here. It's been a while, and I'm checking out Gunfire Games from Other Sun. So, this is a quick synopsis. I just kind of took a little breather, try to soul search on what I wanted to do with this page, and I think I come up with it. I think I want to start doing a video a week, and, you know, I'll pick a subject that I want to talk about and kind of go through. So today is like the state of VR, and I'm taking two games to kind of go through it. So the first game, Fron, Other Sun here. So there you go, throwing the thumbs up. Now I'm going to tap my wrist, which I love that as their way of getting to the menu screen. And now we're going to go up to options. So here, now I'm in options. And the first one I'm going to ignore, and now I'm going to talk about movement mode so comfort is the teleport is the third person out of body teleportation head re um, relation um hand and left or right related shows whichever direction your head is looking and with the hands is which your hands is pointing so the turn is the snap or smooth i'm going to keep it as smooth so seated now seated with smooth pretty much makes you play like a normal first person shooter on your Xbox or your PlayStation meaning the game is locked to the play space and the way your body is orientated or your hand or your head is orientated will have nothing to do with the movement it's only solely of um, the orientation of forward on your play space which is fantastic so now this is your mission giver in this game um, it is a bunch of mission giver you go someplace and you um, will run into a, a spaceship or a space station and someone would have a mission for you to do. Uh, whether they're attacking because they're pirates or they need you to come and rescue them because whatever, something screwed up. All right, uh, this is an uh, inventory thing. I kind of hate the way they do it. I won't even get into discussing how it's just a pain in the butt. Um, now, in order to hold your guns out, you have to hold down the grab, um, the grab button. Uh, I, another feature that I do not like, I don't have into like holding down the, the grab button mainly because doing so gives me cramps in my forearm. Um, not my forearm, my 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 palm. Uh, the shooting um, is a little bit lackluster. Uh, you know, um, it doesn't feel intense. And I really wish they had kind of either like a laser beam or a reticle to show where and what I'm aiming at precisionly. Uh, because, um, you know, or I still can do it aiming down the, the side of the gun. But, uh, you know, it's not, you know, that's, that's something I'm going to take away. It's not that big of a deal. I do like games that does have a reticle or do have the um, the laser pointer. Um, I do find those to be a lot more entertaining because now I think less about my aiming and more about just having fun. All right. So now that was just a quick mission. Yeah, that was it from start to finish. This mission is over. And now I'm going to jump over into my currently favorite game, Gunheart. So in Gunheart is in early access, and why I'm looking down on the floor here is because. This game knows my play space orientation. So this game knows exactly which way I am facing forward, where my cameras is coming from, because I have a 180 degree setup. But yet, they still seem to have a setup where um, it's either controller orientated or it's head orientated and not the PlayStation orient and not the play space orientation, which I find a little bit um, you know disheartening I thought they could have done better with that uh, but here I'm gonna go through some of the features that it have I think I'm now doing the head all right so obviously forward would be wherever your head is looking um, annoying but some people like that and the most of the people that like that are those who are doing room scale all right let's go down the list here what else I'm gonna show here all right we're gonna put the comfort on so you see how it limits your um, field of view that's to help those people that uh, want to do full locomotion but do get a little bit sick. You know, the full locomotion is the best way to play a game in any way. Alright, I'm now showing off the teleporting. Uh, this is Blink. I like keeping it at dash. I'm going to put it back at dash. Alright, let's so check out the... Uh, the snap turn. This one is for 180. So it spins you around one, uh, completely 180 degrees. 
Not my type of thing. I always mess that up. Yeah, 45 and 180, but I'm not going to just go to a smooth turn. And once again, because that actually makes you feel like you're playing a traditional first person shooter. Uh, even though um, when you do try to aim at something with your left hand, which is my non dominant hand, and that's the one that my forward is locked to, uh, that can throw you off. Uh, I'm surprised that developers let that happen, and, and um, mainly because it's one of the things that can make you feel nauseous. Um, if you're in the middle of an intense firefight and you're moving all over the place and your hand is aiming all over the place, uh, you can get a little disorientating and at the same time get sick. So now, um, the gun is just like stick to your hand, so you don't have to hold down the, um, the grab button in order to do that in this game, uh, which is, you know... I like that. I don't mind having a toggle. That I means I can put the guns away and maybe pull out a different gun and maybe a different way of, um, you know, switching items. You know, so I think like a toggle type of way of doing that would have been uh, a better way to go with this game and even over the, you know, grab to hold because um, the grab to hold is eh, not not fun for everyone. Like I said, I do get um, cramps in my palm when I have to grab and hold you know grab hold the grab button down so it doesn't make that fun for me you know other people they love it and I understand that but I don't mind where in, um, you have the gun located in different parts so you can have guns by your hips a gun over your back you know kind of like in the way of um, Robo Recall how it had those guns in, at different locations around you Now, the shooting in this game is a lot of fun. I must say that uh, the sound uh, effects of shooting in this game gives it weight to it. Uh, the vibration in this uh, with each gun is no more than the vibration that I also get in um, from Other Sun. But from Other Sun just doesn't, guns just doesn't have that, that weight to it. Like as if it's almost like there you can tell it's not a real thing and so that way it doesn't give you that feel but these you know what I mean it, it the sound effect it feels powerful feels weightiness to them you know what I mean um, and, and that I said give you that feel of like yes I'm holding on to these things and man they're kicking ass so um, so from other Sun that's one of the things you guys got to do better with your audio um, this totally kick ass with audio wise you guys kicked ass with the locomotion these guys kicked ass with audio uh, you both fail in inventory and um, you know rotating uh, of guns you know giving you options of how to get to your next gun it's both of you guys got these convoluted way of doing that um, could have been different you guys should have went with robo recall uh, where it's like a certain, a certain gun is at your hips, a certain gun is at over your shoulder, and you just grab and, and, and put there and stuff like that. I think that would have been a phenomenal thing to do. Alright, so here goes the shootout. Uh, I wish it would have given me a little bit more open space to move around. Um, you know, I do understand they want to give more... Uh, more cover and hide out and I love how the enemies use the environment how they jump around they go from different things to try to get to higher ground to get a better shot at you uh, I wish they did a little bit more um, movement when in, in engaging me uh, they tend to stand there once they get to their location or whether rather as I'm starting to shoot at them they roll out of position uh, you know make it a little bit more um, difficult in order to be a, a, a moving target you know they kind of stand there which um, you know they move around when they're when you're not shooting at them but once they're at a location they kind of stand there for a while before uh, moving again and I think uh, that is a definitely um, a downside to this so you know like so in games like say destiny the way enemies move away once you they're starting to get hit you know they're, they're trying to save their lives so it would find that in a game like this that or any game in the matter that the enemy once you they're starting to take fire they take cover they move they do something to make it more difficult than being an open target like that 
So that is another uh, downside, I would say, to most VR games, their enemies. Um, well, it, it seems like they it's open season on enemies in VR games. All right, so um, this video is now coming in to an end. Uh, and um, thanks for joining me right now. I'm just going to walk it down to the very end. Um, yeah, it is. It's such a beautiful game, man. Let's look at this. And I'll pick this up uh, probably around the same point again. Um, I'm definitely going to be talking about um, <clears throat> Gunheart a lot more, mainly because it's an early access game, and so they have a lot more to do. So I want to be a part of, you know, maybe helping to lead this game forward. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks.